in this lecture we will learn about avl tree and double rotation in avl tree okay so till now in the first two lectures we have learnt about avl tree its basics then about insertion and single rotation to fix the violation of avl tree property and make the balance tree okay so now we will see that when there is a left right rotation case or right left rotation case we need a double rotation to fix it so let's see what it is so first let's see so we have a case of lr rotation okay which means that we have inserted in the right subtree of left child of a node that has violated the avl property okay avl tree property so here k2 is the node that has violated the avl tree property x y and z are all subtrees here and what happens is now we have inserted in the right subtree of left child of k2 and so what happens is now y has become of height h plus 1 because one item was added here and rest are same z has height h and x has height h so now if you see so in this tree here there is minus 1 balance factor here there is the height is here h plus 1 plus 1 so it's h plus 2 here it's only h so the balance factor as k2 is plus 2 so now if here you do a rotation single rotation what will happen we will make k1 as the root x will x subtree will remain its left subtree now because k1 has become the root so k2 will become its right child and hence the right subtree of k1 so it is the left subtree of k2 so it will here become the left subtree of k2 and z subtree is there so now again if we see the balance factor at nodes so here the right subtree of k1 so this again h plus 1 is the height k2 gives plus 1 more height so here on the right the height is h plus 2 for k1 the subtree in the right has height h plus 2 in the left it's h so it's minus 2 balance factor at k1 so it's still after the single rotation this avl tree violation of balance property is not fixed okay single rotation cannot fix the lr case or the rl case okay so lr case is if you are so like if you are inserting in the right subtree of the left child of the node that is violating the avl tree property or if you are inserting in the left subtree of the right child of the violating node then you cannot fix this with single rotation so what do you need then okay so let gamma be the be the avl property violating node okay so let gamma be the node that is violating the avl property after you have inserted one node okay so what will happen now if the avl tree property is violated so balance factor at some that gamma node will become plus or minus 2 okay and what happens there are two cases insertion into left subtree of right child of gamma okay so or insertion into right subtree of left child okay so it will be something like this the first one or the second one is right subtree of the left child so left child right subtree so this are the two cases previously for single rotation it was left left or right right here you have left right or right left so let's see 
so now this will be the case k3 is the node okay and here in the left what happens now we will have a structure like this when there is the this is the left right case okay so there is insertion happened in the right subtree of the left child of the gamma so what happens is now if you see so we have left child here k1 and for the right subtree we are taking the root of the right subtree which is k2 okay so now what happens here is that this will be the kind of case so what we do and then you will have b and c here okay so they are balanced avl tree so this is now the case so now what happens is this is fine okay and this one what happens now because one extra node has been inserted so here the height is h here it will become h plus 1 so there is a balance factor of minus 1 this is also fine but at node k3 the violating node so here you have h plus 2 in the left subtree of k3 and h on the right so there will be a balance factor of plus 2 so this is violating the balance property so with lr rotation now a double rotation is there so what we do so here you see k1 k2 and k3 is in ascending order so k1 is the smallest k2 is larger than k1 but it is smaller than k3 from the binary search 3 property so k2 comes here now k3 is largest among k1 k2 and k3 so it is here so what you do so we will take k2 as the root now for this and then k1 will become its left child k3 will become its right child so now k2 had to the left subtree b and right subtree c so we have to give it to k1 and k3 so we see that c the subtree c has every element greater than k2 okay but it is less than k3 each element of c is less than that of k3 so i can make it as the left child of this and this c is still the right is in the right subtree of k2 so bst property is satisfied now if you go to this b so what happens everything in b is greater than k1 okay so this and it is everything in b is less than k2 so b can come in the left subtree of k2 and it can be the right subtree of k1 so this is done here and now if you see so this tree is now balanced okay so everywhere it's balanced now so this is the double rotation and this is the left right double rotation okay next we have a right left rotation in which case an element is inserted in the left subtree of the right child of the violating node okay so k1 k3 k2 here again if you see so all these subtrees have height h now this right subtree of k1 has height of h plus 2 left subtree of k1 has height just h so there is a balance factor of minus 2 here at k1 what can be done now again let's have k2 in the root and hence what happens k2 is less than k3 okay but it's greater than k1 okay so k1 will become its left child of k2 and k3 will become right child of k2 okay this is there now you have to make the trees okay the sub trees give their places okay so now k2 which had got b as left sub tree and c as right sub tree so it has got now k1 and k3 as its left and right child so where will b fit now so b is greater than so b is less than everything in b is less than k2 okay but everything in b is greater than k1 
so what will happen it can become the right subtree of k1 and b becomes the right subtree of k1 a was the left subtree already now let's see d c about c subtree so c subtree if it's everything in it is less than k3 so i can make it as the left child of it and now also this c is is the right subtree of k2 so it will be greater than k2 now if you see this tree so now this is balanced okay so this height h h so this is 0 0 and this is also 0 so now this is balanced let's look with one example so we have a tree here so now if you don't have 80 so everything was balanced 0 0 0 0 then here this 90 was 0 70 was so no left child so this was minus 1 50 was 0 60 so it was minus 1 and then this was minus 1 okay so this was balanced tree and it was a bst but now if we insert 80 it gets inserted here now we move from this inserted node towards the root 90 is still fine it has plus 1 balance factor 70 now Zero in the left, height is zero in the left. Here it is two, so minus two is the balance factor. This is a problem. Okay. Similarly for sixty and forty-two, they are minus two. Okay, and minus two. So now how will we do the balancing? So the main main node that has the balance property violated is node seventy going from bottom. So seventy. then the node that was inserted is the in the left subtree of the right child so this is rl rotation and so this k1 k2 k3 from our previous example so 70 is k1 90 is k2 k3 and 80 is k2 so now if you do a double rotation so 80 will become the root here of this part this subtree 90 will go as the right subtree 70 will be in the left child and rest are like this so now this is avl tree with balance property and so this is the double rotation okay so i hope now you understand insertion process of avl tree and how it maintains the balance property so thanks a lot